deep within the dark recesses of his favorite dive, you can find John Healy after work at his customary table around 7 o'clock in the morning. And you're a regular here at Rossi's? Yeah, yeah, almost every day. Almost every day? Yeah. This is Rossi's on State Street in Chicago. Scott, what's up? An establishment where patrons prefer to face the day with a shot and a beer more than a grande soy latte. It is one of the few taverns in town that opens its doors for sunrise customers like lawyer John Luther. It's uh, an old time bar, you know, it's a, a fabric of the neighborhood. Rossi's is a classic neighborhood bar. With its heavy steel door and slit windows, it doesn't look all that inviting from the outside and that's fine with proprietor Dennis McCarthy. Would you call this a dive? I would now, yes. <laughs> McCarthy has owned the joint for 25 years, but the bar has been here for decades more. I had a young kid, you know, he's about 25 years old in here. He says he's looking around and he goes, uh, gee, this is kind of a neat place. Uh, how did you uh, think up the theme? <laughs> and I looked at him and, and I go, think up the theme. I said, how, I said, how about 25 years of neglect? There was a time when Chicago had about 10,000 taverns, seemingly one every block, and many open virtually round the clock. But their numbers are declining here and elsewhere across the country. Over the past decade, about one in six neighborhood bars has closed, about 609 every month, compared to 334 new bars opening. We're losing something for sure, uh, and something that I think it's important to preserve. Sean Parnell is the author of a book on Chicago's bars. A place like this could be gone tomorrow, whether it's bought out or the owner retires or passes. So I think it's, bars are an important part of our culture. Well, people don't drink as much as they did half a century ago. Modern politicians are not always friendly to neighborhood dives. Chains backed by corporations and festooned with fake authenticity are proliferating. And with an eye on tax revenues, cities are encouraging more restaurant and bar combinations over old time bars bars like Simon's Tavern. Scott Martin has owned it since 1994, but Simon's has been here for 81 years. There's a 30 foot long piece of mahogany here and a 25 foot piece and a 5 foot piece. There's 60 foot of mahogany bar here, built in 1933. Same walk-in cooler downstairs, an 81 year old walk-in cooler. It sounds yeah. like there's a lot of affection that goes with it too. Oh, I love this place. So you guys live in the neighborhood too then? or? Simon's Tavern is definitely a place where everyone knows your name and more. I've seen people who have celebrated great things in life, love, friendships, that have happened right here at the bar. Some people who have been down are unhappy, and you've been able to help pick people back up. So it's an important place, I think. And at Simon's or Rossi's, you can have cocktails and conversation. But don't get carried away. So if I come in here and I sit down and I say, may I see a menu, please? <laughs> you might get laughed at. Uh, we'll give you a Slim Jim or something like that. Uh. <laughs>